Hola chicos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy aquí en TV Line? Chicos, vamos a continuar con Vampire y... Están peleando ahí. Hay algo, bueno. Algo está sucediendo ya. Glad to see you. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill, but I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. Giselle is the only family you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave her? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. No, no la quiere perdonar, así que no tengo mucho más que preguntarle. ¿no? Goodbye, Miss. Pues son hermanas las dos. Tienen poca experiencia, son no. You again. No sé si vale la pena, weón. ¿no? Well, I'll matar personas que no que no me van a dar nada en realidad. No tienen y por otro lado tampoco tienen algo interesante que entregar, o sea, que no. No sé, no le no encuentro que sea necesario matar a alguien la verdad de esta gente por lo menos. hard enough to get the docks by myself. This is not a place for you, sir. Over there! simple cuadro, en mil... Qué feo. Volvimos a... bueno, obviamente entrar acá a la... A las alcantarillas 
Mario. No hay que, pero. Me salió el. del corazón. Tengo que estar cansado. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson, not kill him. I'm not responsible for a murder if I didn't want to commit it. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. El tipo va a volver. Sí. Ahora me echa la culpa a mí si es que lo matan, me dice. Son cosas fáciles de sacar. Es relativamente simple. Puta, ya investigué las alcantarillas y no sé qué más ver. En serio. ¿Qué se me ocurre? Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Mmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over. And over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, Each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes, I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet, always yeah, alone. Gigante, well. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? 
Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Entonces, ahora que ya hablé con ella, seguramente van a haber quitado... Ah, sí, mira, les pongo las cartarías. Pensé que no me iban a contar, así que bueno, aunque sea así me contaron. Uh, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Has encontrado las respuestas que estabas buscando, joven Econ? Hay demasiado que no está respondido. ¿Por qué uno me dice en Econ, otro me dice en Vampiro, otro me dice en...? Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light, and of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. But it will remain mine. Why Ekon? Why Ekon? Why Ekon? Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. 
For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. For how long? Where did we claim? Uh, Manner of creature is Harriet. She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Yeah, pues eso es lo que estaba que yo intenté abrir en el episodio anterior que que me dice que siga las flechas blancas que son estas que están acá, o sea, que no me equivoco están acá. Y dice que lo voy a hacer, lo va a hacer para que yo pueda entrar cuando yo quiera. O sea. Déjenme, déjenme, déjenme acordarme porque no me acuerdo exactamente dónde era, pero sé que era por acá, o tal vez abajo, no sé. Allá no es, porque ya ese es mi refugio. Eh... Y aquí está ella con ella. cambiar los estados, ¿no? En un segundo cambio un estado al otro. Ahora es raro porque los Skulls, o sea, bueno, por lo menos los que yo conocía eran todos agresivos. Ahora te das cuenta de que no. Te das cuenta de que no es así, o sea, en realidad existen aparte Skulls que no son así. Creo que es acá. Puta, se me ha quedado pegado una vez aquí, así que espero que no pase eso. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? I 
tengo todo lo que necesito saber de él. This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. Oh, we are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Estas son las decisiones que son difíciles de tomar. Entonces una vez... No lo voy a silenciar, 
porque silenciar sería matarlo y y no sé si matarlo sea de lo mejor la verdad ¿no? o sea podría ser tal vez una buena solución al, al hecho de que no sé pero también hay gente que lo ha ayudado entonces no tengo hay gente que yo entonces podría ser infierno no sé no sé, no sé. Si lo perdono, es como envidia la paz que ha encontrado. Dice que lo convertí. Si lo convierto. Curaré su. Curaré la enfermedad que tiene. Ahora voy a sacrificar 500 de experiencia por ello. Eh, pero si lo silencio. Gano 6.000 Y cada vez me hago más fuerte Silencio es Como que ya, ok El tipo como que cree mucho en Dios Bla 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 y come Pero está comiendo gente muerta Eh... Y lo curaría, si lo cura, si lo curo. Tiene sentido alguno. Voy a silenciarlo. I really would like to believe your fairy tale. The good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May his soul rest in peace. A night will come, and you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! No! Ah! Uno no sabe qué es bueno o qué es malo, en serio. Ya como que... Cualquier cosa que hagas es dudable, ¿me entienden? O sea, si lo hubiera convertido en vampiro, tal vez hubiera abusado de ese poder. Si lo hubiera perdonado, tal vez también hubiera abusado de ese poder. Ya uno no sabe No sabe muy bien Qué decisión tomar Al respecto Ya no está Así que ya lo, ya lo maté A él, no, a él no, lo, no lo mataría La verdad Pero Y ella ya lo maté también O sea Me faltaría uno Que ese que está acá Pero Al otro doctor no Al otro doctor me parece Un tipo Razonable Un buen Un cerebro Ahora él era como medio raro. Probablemente nunca sepa si la otra vampira me juzga o me va a juzgar probablemente y me va a decir no es que tú me estás ayudando y bla bla bla. bla. Um... Probablemente va a pasar eso, o sea, es como lo que creo que va a pasar. Ah, 
Ahora ya lo maté, así que. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Good evening, Doctor. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so... afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well... it beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look. Bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Goodbye. Chicos, voy a dejar esto hasta acá el día de hoy. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, suscríbanse al canal y los veo en un próximo episodio.